This year, the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max rumors are starting too soon. We haven't even surpassed 2023, but now we are talking about 2024's iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. This is going to be the next generation iPhones that everybody will want, but no one will be able to buy because it's so high in demand that you can still not get it in November. What's up Lollipop, my name is Joe and in today's video let's talk about the new iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. Not the 16, although I have a small tidbit for the 16 as well that I'll talk about in a moment. But let's talk about the 16 Pro and the 16 Pro Max that is going to be the new iPhone, the next iPhone. And honestly, I do believe that the rumors are starting a little bit too soon this year. Usually the rumors start to pick up around after January or so when the cat files leak and then we get the first images on what it's going to look like and around March, April we get get more information then around June July we find out all of the information and then um, Apple surprises us and maybe only 95% of that is actually correct so what do we know about the new iPhone 16 and 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max let's start with the iPhone 16 that has a small little tidbit that is very very interesting if you've been paying attention to iOS 17.2 you have noticed that in iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max there's a new feature in the camera you can record spatial video for the new Vision Pro device that is going to come out sometime early 2024. But with the 15 Pro and Pro Max, you can record spatial video, which is Apple's way of saying 3D video. The reason you cannot record with the 15 and 15 Plus is because the camera placements are not correct on those phones. If you look at the Pro device, you see the main camera and the ultra wide camera are right next to each other. You can consider it as the iPhone 12 design for the cameras. Now, if you look at the 13, the 14, the 15, they are diagonal placed. It's not good for 3D video recording because 3D video recording always happens in landscape. It's basically like our eyes. That way you can record in three dimensions. This is the correct way of having the cameras. The iPhone 13, 14 and 15 are not. So the iPhone 16 will go back to the iPhone 12 camera placement. It will be a vertical camera placement. So the iPhone 16 and 16 plus will be able to record spatial video as well. In terms of iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, we have some information, information that is all around the interwebs from 9 to 5 Mac to Mac rumors to FPT to all these guys are reporting on it from Minchi code to all the leakers, you know, all of them. First, iPhone 16 Pro will have a larger display. Instead of 6.1 inches, it's going to be 6.3 inches. iPhone 16 Pro Max is going to have a 6.9 inch display instead of the 6.7 inch display. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wasn't this rumor supposed to happen this year with iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max? It was supposed to happen this year, but it didn't. So now the leakers and rumorers are pushing it forward to 2024, which I would be happy about. I mean, a bigger screen is always welcome if it doesn't compromise what iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max gave us, which is a lighter phone in a smaller body. I really like that it's lighter, but it's the same size. So please don't make it heavier and bigger. Just make it bigger and less heavier and smaller. Now, what is the biggest problem with the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max? Is the battery and thermal issues. Exactly, exactly. Overheating battery life sucks, which Apple kind of fixed in iOS 17.2, but still, we remember the launch day when it was like, oh my God, this phone is so hot and all of the YouTubers were doing videos on how hot it gets and how terrible the experience is. It doesn't exist anymore and it wasn't so hot to begin with. But anyway, this is what sticks in people's minds. So Apple's going to do something about it. They are going to do something better, something, something cool. And yes, pun intended, something cool. It's going to be a redesigned battery. With the iPhone 16 Pro, you are going to have a new battery that is redesigned and has better thermal performance. Thanks to a, and I'm quoting over here, Apple will be using a metal shell for the iPhone's battery. A metal shell. This is for heat dissipation. I don't know, ask Linus Tech Tips. According to the leaks and rumors, iPhone 16, 16 Plus, Pro and Pro Max will have a redesigned battery that will have an extra metal shield around that battery for overheating issues. This is great news because iPhone's main problem right now is that it gets too hot. The chip inside is too powerful for the phone because it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and the phone can't dissipate it and then it gets too hot and then it needs to take back the thermal throttling. I could have just said that, thermal throttling. I have a problem with this thermal throttling. What else are we 
expected to have in the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max? Well, camera upgrades. Now, as I said before, the 16 and 16 Plus will have the camera upgrade of what was basically the iPhone 12 design. So it will be able to do spatial video with the basic models. Now, next year's base models will get the camera system from this year's Pro models. That's a given, that happens every year. But what we will also have is the five times telephoto zoom on the smaller Pro model. I have an iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've used the telephoto camera maybe twice. Once for the review video and once, no, I only used it for the review video. That's it. Let's be a little bit serious. The new camera system will be using Sony's new sensor and it will give us better quality images, better quality video, although that is very difficult to do because iPhones have one of the best video cameras on the market right now. What else will we get in this phone? Well, we will have better connectivity. We will have a new modem and a new Wi-Fi. It will be able to do Wi-Fi 7. The new iPhones will be able to do Wi-Fi 7. That is great because, because why? because are you having problems now with your speed? If you are, it's probably not the phone's fault, it's probably your carrier or your Wi-Fi at home. It's a very small percentage of people who care about Wi-Fi 7. But anyway, it's the latest and greatest and newest technology in your hands with iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. You will be having Wi-Fi 7 connectivity so you can stream your videos and games and do everything that you ever wanted. Now here's a, a very interesting thing that I was not expecting. The new Pros will have a new chip. It's going to be the A18 Pro. It'll be faster, it'll be smaller, it's gonna be done with the new second generation three nanometer manufacturing process, which is basically that it is cheaper to manufacture and faster. So maybe they'll be able to pump out more phones faster so you won't be waiting so long for your new brand new iPhone 16 Pro. Interestingly, the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus will not be getting the 17 Pro chip. They will be getting a base A18 chip, which will be a dumbed down version of the A18 Pro. We are back to the era of the newest iPhone models having the newest chips. They needed to do a cat two categories for the chips in iPhones 2. They couldn't leave it in one because you have now the Pro models and the non-Pro models. It's just like with the M processors. You have M3 for the base model MacBooks and then M3 Pro and M3 Max. You're gonna have base model iPhone A18 and then Pro level iPhone A18 Pro. And then, you know, the, the funniest thing is when I research this topic and when I look for all these tidbits and I notice a news that is so ridiculous and it's popping up everywhere. The new iPhones will not have Touch ID. The new iPhones right now do not have Touch ID. I don't know who comes up with this, but anyway, it's in the news. They will not have Touch ID. Not like that we were expecting them to have Touch ID. Maybe the iPhone SE 4 will have Touch ID. Maybe. Maybe it's gonna have a Touch ID like the iPad Air, like the iPad Mini that'll be built into the power button. But this is not the video for the iPhone SE 4 news. So that's gonna be later on. In terms of pricing, you should be expecting similar prices to last year's. iPhone 16 Pro will start at $999 or maybe at $1099 if they raise the storage limit, just like they did with this year with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That it didn't start at $1099, it started at $1199, but we got 256 gigs of storage. In any way, it's still more than nine months away for the new iPhones and people are still not even enjoying right now the iPhone 15. So there's a lot of time for these rumors and these things to change. So far, us geeks like talking about this. We always want the next thing. We have the new phone and then we're already thinking about the phone that we're gonna have next year and then the year after. And this is great. This is just a conversation we're having. Some people go to a bar and talk about sports we over here talk about technology and we dream and we talk about the new things and it's great and I truly love it.